Raw as the athlete, ultra marathon runner, health pioneer, fruit lover, lifestyle consultant, motivational speaker, running on fruit to save the world one banana at a time. People often just, by default, they'll just run straight up the hill. And if it's a really steep hill, that puts a lot of pressure on your Achilles, on your calf muscles, just, just on your whole lower leg system. Because when you're running on the flat, if you, you, your, your leg and your foot, and this is the angle in your ankle, it's around 90 degrees because you're running on the flat. But when you start going up a hill, you change this angle, so you're running up the hill, and your foot is now on an upward angle, but your, your leg is still, still um, vertical. So this angle gets much sharper, and it's putting a lot of pressure on the, on the calf muscles and the, the Achilles, and you may not injure yourself running up the hill, but you're fatiguing those muscles and, and putting maybe, and then, and then maybe you're um, putting extra tension on, on tendons and other parts that can fail. So later in, the ra later in a race, particularly for me in an ultra marathon, um, it can become a problem because the, the tired muscles can't protect the system. So whatever the weakest point is will, will break down and then you can get an injury. So a solution to take the pressure off is to run on an angle to the hill. Because if you're running up a hill like this, and there's this sharp angle, if you then turn, turn sideways on the hill, the, ang the angle is now across the hill, and, and your, your leg's still vertical, but your foot is now across the hill. There is, no, there is no angle. So you just run up the hill like that. It's much more efficient, takes all the pressure off, all the pressure off your um, lower leg system, off the Achilles and the calves. There are, there are a few different ways you can do that. They call it crab running. Um, you don't have to be all the way perpendicular to the hill, running, running up the hill sideways. You can be on, an, on a 45 degree angle, and that takes about ha half of the angle and half of the tension out of running up the hill. So you can basically run by crossing foot over foot over foot over foot. And you can just run on one, one side, or you can run on the other side, foot over foot over foot over foot, or you can alternate. You maybe do five or ten strides on one side and then switch and do five or ten strides on the other side um, just, to, just to even out the tension. If you're going around a corner, I typically want to face outwards on the corner, so I'm, I'm not going to switch sides while I'm going around a corner and turning. If I'm going the other corner, I'll, I'll be facing up this way. And then uh, the final approach that I haven't read about in books, but I found it personally to work pretty well, is to run like a duck, just turn your feet out. And so it's just taking the angle off, um, both, an off both ankles and um, calf muscles and, and Achilles. But in doing that, you need to make sure that you're also aligning your knees over your, so your knees are pointing in the same direction as each foot. So you have to turn your knees out with your feet. Otherwise you'll end up, <clears throat> if you just turn your feet out without twisting your knees out, without turning your knees out, then you'll end up putting a lot of tension and unnecessary twisting and turning on your knees, which can, can also cause injuries. So if we just check down to my feet, so it's gonna be like this, like, so basically running one foot in front of the other, like a duck, or going side to side, stepping over, stepping over, stepping over. And these tips also apply to walking. So if you're walking up a hill, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, who wants to run up a hill really, unless you're Killian Hornet or some other amazing runner, it's tough to run up hills. So if you're walking up a hill, but you're still finding you're getting tight Achilles, uh, tight, tight muscles in the lower legs, then you know, just take the pressure off by just twisting, turning your feet out in any of the techniques I've just described. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip and enjoy a lifetime of injury-free running like me. Stay tuned for the next exciting adventure with Raw Aussie Athlete. Here, Raw Aussie Athlete reveals secrets from the depths of the galaxy. Watch Raw Aussie Athlete on his valiant and chivalrous pursuits, surrendering to the noble values of honesty, openness, and integrity, and to the timeless traits of truth, justice, and the 80-10-10 way. How will his life unfold? Which mountain will he next conquer? Where will his heart lead him? Will he find true love? Join Raw Aussie Athlete on his bold, fortuitous journey to unleash passion and purpose upon the universe. 
and beyond. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.